Today we're going to solve problems involving factor theorem sent to us by grade 10 students from the Philippines. Suppose P is a non-zero polynomial. The real number C is a zero of P if and only if x minus c is a factor of p of x. This means that if c is a zero of p, then p of c is equal to zero. Use the factor theorem to identify whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second or not. Write yes or no. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solution. Question number 6. Our first polynomial is x minus 1, so we will solve first for x. Adding 1 to both sides, our x value is equal to 1. To determine if x minus 1 is a factor, we will plug in 1 into the x square plus 2x plus 5. And that becomes 1 square plus 2 times 1 plus 5. Simplifying this, 1 square is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and plus 5. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8. According to the factor theorem, if the value is equal to 0, that means the binomial is a factor. So for question number 6, x minus 1 is not a factor. Question 7. x minus 1 and x cubed minus x minus 2. Our first polynomial is x minus 1, so we will solve first for x by equating this to 0. Adding 1 to both sides, our x value here is equal to 1. Using the factor theorem, we will plug in x is equal to 1 into x cubed minus x minus 2. So we will have 1 to the third minus 1 minus 2. Simplifying this, 1 to the third is 1 minus 1 minus 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Since the value is not 0, that means x minus 1 is not a factor of x cubed minus x minus 2. Question 8. x minus 4 and 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 9x minus 20. So first, solve for x using x minus 4 is equal to 0. Add 4 to both sides. Our x value here is equal to 4. Using the factor theorem, we will plug in 4 into our second polynomial. We have 2 times 4 to the third minus 9 times 4 square plus 9 times 4 minus 20. Again, if the answer is 0, that means x minus 4 is a factor of the polynomial. Simplifying this, 4 to the third is 64. 64 times 2, we have 128. Next, 4 squared is 16, 16 times 9 is 144, plus 9 times 4 is 36, and we have minus 20. Simplifying this from left to right, 128 minus 144 is negative 16, negative 16 plus 36 is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. Since the value is 0, this means that x minus 4 is a factor of the second polynomial. Question number 9. a minus 1 and a cubed minus 2a squared plus a minus 2. What do you think is our a value here? Our a value here is equal to 1 because we will use a minus 1 is equal to 0. Adding 1 to both sides, our a value is equal to 1. Using the factor theorem, we substitute 1 into our second polynomial. So we will have 1 to the third minus 2 times 1 square plus 1 minus 2. Again, if the answer is 0, this means a minus 1 is a factor of the second polynomial. So let's simplify this. 1 to the third is 1. 1 square is 1 times 2, so we have minus 2 plus 1 minus 2. And of course, the answer for this is 0. 
This means that a minus 1 is a factor of the second polynomial. Question number 10. y plus 3 and 2y cubed plus y squared minus 13y plus 6. What do you think is our y value? Our y value is negative 3 since we have y plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtracting 3 to both sides, our y value is negative 3. Using the factor theorem, we will substitute negative 3 into our second polynomial. So we will have 2 times negative 3 to the third plus negative 3 squared minus 13 times negative 3, then we have plus 6. Simplifying this, negative 3 to the third power is negative 27 times 2, negative 54. Next, negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, so that's plus 9. Next, negative 13 times negative 3, that's 39. And we have plus 6. Is this equal to 0? Negative 54 plus 9 is negative 45. Negative 45 plus 39 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Since the answer is 0, this means that y plus 3 is a factor of the second polynomial. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.